To set the record straight, this looks way scarier from up here. Anyway, as I'm risking my life making this intro for you, I'd really appreciate it if you could press that subscribe button. That way you'll know when my next videos come out. Today's video might be a bit risky. Also, sorry, I still don't know how to set the camera well enough, so like my face is dark, but I wanted you to see that part well, because that was the cool part. <laughs> So I've been thinking a lot about privilege lately. Whew, I'm getting old, I lost my breath. <clears throat> I think I'll call segments like these incomplete thoughts. So what I want to share with you is not going to be exhaustive. It's not gonna cover everything, but I just want to share with you what I've been thinking about privilege. So let's start off by seeing what privilege is. I could Google it, but just off the top of my head and from my own experience, I'd say privilege is when you're born with or you receive something which you did nothing special to get. It's like when you have an advantage, but you did nothing special to get it. Some examples of privilege could be the country you're born in, the family you're born into, your race, and even natural abilities like intelligence or talents. So I've been thinking about this a lot recently, and to be honest with you, I feel very privileged. And this has made me feel even a bit guilty recently, because looking at everything I have and that I've received, I feel so grateful. But when I look at my past, I realize that there were so many times that I felt bitter looking at other people's privileges that I didn't have. And this time thinking has shown me how when I focus on the privileges that I don't have, it makes me blind to the privileges that I do have. And it's really important for me to notice the privileges I have, because if I don't, I'll just waste them. So as I said, I was feeling quite guilty about being privileged. And even just saying that I'm privileged sounds really weird, but let's just go with it for this video. So I was feeling guilty, and I realized that I was feeling guilty because I was just thinking about it on my own. It's like my privilege was isolating me. So I decided to speak to some friends about it and to people who were privileged in different ways than me, some who were more privileged and some who were less privileged. And I realized that speaking about privilege feels really weird. It, it almost feels a bit scary because you don't know what's going to happen. As we talked, I realized that it became clearer how we could each use our privileges to help each other or others. Now, I'm not talking in an ideal way or anything like that, but more in a practical, real way. So for myself, from all this, what I'm taking is that I need to take the time to recognize my privileges, because privileges are things which I don't need to worry about, so it's so easy for them to go unnoticed. Then I'm going to find people who I can talk to, who I can trust, like my friends, who I can share my points of views and my experiences with, to get a better perspective on the privileges. And then I'm going to see how I can actually use my privileges to help others. I mean, one privilege I'm making use of is the fact that I live attached to a school. So since there's no school going on at the moment, I asked if I could come film this video in the grounds over here, because I thought it would make quite a cool video. Cool? I'll catch you next week.